We begin with a BSO paramedic sharing his story of survival and heartbreak after their rescue helicopter went down in flames last month. Two people were killed, including his colleague. And he believes this tragedy could have been prevented. And Local 10's Roy Ramos live now in Miami with our top story now. Roy. Calvin and Nicole, and when we spoke with this medic, he described in great detail the moments he knew something was wrong with the helicopter that he was in, all the way up until the moment that that chopper ended up crashing on a home. He described having to punch out a window in order to crawl to safety. This happening just moments before that chopper went up in flames. His best friend still trapped inside. Every single thought I had was my son, my family, how is this going to be explained to my son? 31-year-old flight medic Mike Chaguaceta describing how his life flashed before his eyes when, in an instant, the Broward Sheriff's Fire Rescue helicopter experienced a catastrophic mechanical failure. And right before this tail rotor came off, uh, my captain, Terrison Jackson, which uh, we, we lost, he uh, looked at me dead in the eye and told me, don't worry, Mikey, it's, we're going to be good. He told me that. He never made it out. Chaggy Waseda is talking about his best friend, Captain, now Battalion Chief, Terryson Jackson, who lost his life in that crash. We landed nose first into this dwelling, which is why my captain died on impact. But it's moments before he said he started seeing smoke and fire coming from the cockpit. He and his crew were headed to a crash involving a young boy who'd just been hit by a car. Even though I knew this was mechanical and we, we probably wouldn't even be living after this, all I could think about was that child being that I have a six and a half year old at home. Ultimately, it is Chaguaceda who would radio for another crew to take the call as his pilot and crew and their helicopter crashed down on a home in Pompano Beach, killing a woman living there. Please. Today, we I spoke with the medic's call. attorney who believes this fatal crash could have all been avoided. We're talking about a mechanical failure in a helicopter that had just been serviced weeks before this incident. It was less than a month before the crash. A new AC unit had been installed in the aircraft by Metro Aviation. And it's there where Chaguaceta believes the mechanical failure may have started. If that air conditioning and that work was the cause of this crash and the cause of the loss of these lives, then Metro Aviation and whoever was involved in that work needs to be held accountable. And when we spoke with Chaggy Waseda's attorney, he says that they do ultimately plan on filing a lawsuit and that Metro Aviation will be one of the parties involved. We have reached out to Metro Aviation to get their response. We are still waiting to hear back. As for the official cause of that crash, well, that's still being investigated by the NTSB. For now, here in downtown Miami, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. A very sad account there. Roy, thank you.